Good morning. This is Akash Singh Yadav from MSP third year. I will be presenting on the topic pressure gauge. So first of all, we will look at the definition of a pressure gauge. A pressure gauge is a device used to measure the pressure of a gas or liquid in a system. Its typical structure consists of a burden tube, which is a curved hollow metal tube that straightens out when pressure is applied and a pointer that indicates the pressure on a dial. So after looking at the definition, we will understand the principle behind the working of a pressure gauge. The principle of a pressure gauge is based on the elastic deformation of a burden tube. The tube is connected to the system or container whose pressure is being measured and as pressure is applied, the tube straightens out. We can see it in the diagram too. The burden tube works on the principle that when a tube is subjected to internal pressure, it tends to straighten out. The amount of deflection in the tube depends on the tube's shape, cross-sectional area, and the pressure applied. The pressure gauge works on this principle by converting the pressure value into mechanical movement of the pointer through the burden tube's elastic deformation. This movement is displayed on the dial, calibrated to read the pressure value accurately. So now moving on, we'll see the different types of pressure gauge. There are several types which includes burden tube, diaphragm gauge, capsule gauge, digital gauge, differential gauge, vacuum gauge, and absolute pressure gauge. Now let's have some look at the characteristics of pressure gauge. First, range. Each pressure gauge has a specific pressure range that it can measure. It is important to select a gauge with a range that is appropriate for the application. Number two is accuracy. The accuracy of a pressure gauge is the degree of conformity between the true value of the pressure and the value indicated by the gauge. Next is the response time. The response time of a pressure gauge is the time it takes for the gauge to register a change in pressure. Operating temperature. Pressure gauges are designed to operate within a certain temperature range. Mounting. Pressure gauges can be mounted in various ways, including panel mount, stem mount, and surface mount. Moving on, now let's have a look at the linearity of a pressure gauge. The linearity of a pressure gauge refers to its ability to provide accurate readings that are directly proportional to the pressure being measured. A pressure gauge is said to be linear if its output is directly proportional to the input over the entire range of measurements. For example, if a pressure gauge is designed to measure pressures between 0 and 100 psi and it is perfectly linear, then a pressure of 50 psi will result in a reading that is exactly halfway between the readings for 0 psi and 100 psi. However, in reality, most pressure gauges are not perfectly linear. There may be slight deviations from linearity due to factors such as temperature changes, manufacturing, tolerances or wear and tear over time. Now let's have a look at its hysteresis. Hysteresis in a pressure gauge refers to the phenomena where the gauge reading is not the same for a given pressure when it is approached from different directions. In other words, the output of the gauge depends not only on the current input pressure but also on the history of the pressure. Hysteresis is typically caused by mechanical factors such as friction, elastic deformation of the gauge components and the properties of the gauge's materials. Hysteresis can be minimized by selecting high quality materials and designing the gauge components to reduce friction and minimize elastic deformation. So now let's have a look at its manufacturing. Manufacturing a pressure gauge involves several steps. Designing, accumulating the raw materials, the machining, the raw materials are machined to create the required parts. CNC machines are typically used for precision machining, uh, assembling the parts, and the class testing. The pressure gauge is then tested to ensure that it meets the required accuracy and performance specifications. Overall, the manufacturing of a pressure gauge requires precision and attention to detail at every step to ensure that the final product is accurate, reliable, and performs as expected. Moving on to the applications, 
Pressure gauge is a common instrument used in various applications to measure the pressure of gases or liquids. Here are some common applications of a pressure gauge. Industrial applications. Pressure gauges are widely used in the industrial sector to monitor and control pressure levels in boilers, pipelines, tanks, and other pressure vessels. They are essential in ensuring the safety and efficient operation of many industrial processes. Automotive applications. Pressure gauges are also commonly used in the automotive industry to monitor tire pressure, fuel pressure, oil pressure, and other critical systems in the vehicle. Now let's see the advantages of, a, of using a pressure gauge. Monitoring system performance, early detection of problems, safety, cost effective, accuracy, Overall, pressure gauges are a valuable tool for monitoring pressure levels in a system and ensuring safe and efficient operation. Let's have a look at some disadvantages also of pressure gauge, which may include inaccuracy at certain times, mechanical failure of the equipment, limited range of the gauge, or there can be compatibility issues too. That was all about the presentation from my side. Thank you.